SCP-990 Keter. SCP-990 is generally a human male dressed in a Cold War era business suit who appears to Foundation personnel through dreams. Thus far, no Foundation personnel have encountered SCP-990 in the real world. If he corresponds to an a actual human being, we have yet to find him. Presently, there have been no reports of SCP-990 appearing in non-Foundation personnel. SCP-990 has been appearing to, the fo er, to Foundation personnel since... SCP-990's existence came to light when several agents discussed having dreams involving a similar individual. Numerous other agents reported ha uh, dream sightings of an individual wa er, matching the description of SCP-990. The phenomenon did not officially receive SCP classification until the aftermath of event 990-07. Agent <laughs> failed to report uh, for duty at his assigned time. He was instead found in his quarters asleep. Subject had been asleep for roughly 18 hours and all subs uh, subsequent attempts to wake him were unsuccessful. Subject was transferred to the medical bay. After 40 hours of sleep, subject awake awakened in a highly agitated state. Subject reported, uh, reportedly ran through the facility yelling loudly about the end of the world, even after being heavily sedated. All his bodily functions remained in a dangerously accelerated state. Increased heart rate, high, blo high blood pressure, etc. Subject described a man matching the regular appearance of SCP-990. According to Dr report, Agent described with great detail a series of events that would lead to several tactical nuclear missiles being launched into mid-Europe and eastern Asia, ultimately resulting in the extermination of nearly 98% of the human race and total collapse of human society. Agent claimed that the information had been outlined to him by SCP-990 while he was trapped within his dream. Foundation personnel are considered free to converse with SCP-990 if he should appear to them, and are encouraged to try to obtain information from the subjects regarding himself.